Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to provide select, update, delete, and insert permissions to a user on different tables in MySQL database. So let's go to the MySQL server and provide this permission to a user. Here, I have installed the MySQL on Linux box. So I'm going to connect to the MySQL. So MySQL-u-root-p. So I'm using root user to connect to MySQL. Okay, providing the password and I'm connect uh, let's uh, see the databases on the server so show databases will show us uh, all the databases on this uh, server okay one of the databases uh, here is called the tech brothers uh, so tech brothers IT new so I'm gonna go ahead and say use this uh, database okay show tables uh, Okay, so I'm going to have two tables here. So employee and manager table. What I would like to do, I would like to provide some permission, select, uh, update, delete, and insert permission on these two tables to a new that new user called the test. So first of all, we have to check if the user does exist. So select host, comma user from mysql dot user. So you see that if a test is anywhere, so we do not see test user here. So I'm going to go ahead and create a a user called test at the rate localhost. I will be connecting to that um, this MySQL server by using test from the same machine. So localhost is fine. Identified by that means providing the password. So I'm going to provide the password. My password dollar sign one two three. Okay. The user is created. If you see uh, want to see the permissions for this user now, now you can say grant show grants show grants for this user test at the rate localhost just copy and paste here so we see we see it doesn't have a select insert update and all those kind of permissions here so we are going to provide them um, I can provide the, the permission of individual table if I like and I can provide to all the tables so let's start with the individual table let's say if we would like to provide the permission to only one table okay so that show tables oh, sorry okay and you say, see that we have a manager table here so I'm going to say grant select comma update comma delete comma insert so all these uh, permissions okay so you are saying grant all these permissions uh, on so on which uh, so we have a, a database name called tech brothers new okay dot manager to uh, which uh, user so we have to tell the user okay so test at the rate localhost okay we are all good here and uh, one row affected now if we will say show grants for uh, our user test at the rate localhost so let's see what it has um, now it is telling us uh, so it has grant select insert update delete on tech brothers it new database on the table manager to test uh, that local host so that's what it has but now if i would like let's go back um, if we want to go back and say exit from here come back as a tester so let me log in as a test and see what we have uh, not root test dash p provide the password password okay wrong password I'm going to provide a right password for this one okay so show databases as you remember we have provided the permission on only tech brothers IT new database so that's why it is shown us only this database and we have provided only permission on one table so show tables right here you see only manager remember we had employee table as well but it's not showing us because we did not provide any select update insert or delete permission to the employee table only messenger manager that's why so uh, if I want to select the asterisk from manager I can uh, from um, manager okay let's see okay wrong uh, spelling okay so we can see it has uh, ID and uh, name columns with one row if we want to insert the records it should uh, insert into manager values to and the test same way we can uh, delete and all that whatever we would like to do okay so if we will select again asterisk from manager okay so we can see that it is uh, able to insert and all that and who we are logged in with the so show grants if we'll do that it will show us uh, 
who we are so we are test and these are the permission we have okay so I'm gonna exit from here and now I'm gonna come back and say mysql dash root okay so I'm connecting uh, to mysql server with the root uh, uh, now show databases I will be able to see all the databases uh, and uh, if you remember that we have a user so select host comma user from uh, mysql dot uh, user why I type all these commands over and over because I want you to get familiar with this as well so test at the rate uh, localhost that's what our user is there so we are going to provide grant select insert update date delete on remember last time what we did we did only on tech brothers tech brothers brothers it dot and sorry new dot manager but this time we are going to say instead of manager every table in every table in this uh, database so, so dot asterisk that include also the views so if we are providing the select permission we will be able to select the data from the views as well okay so we have a um, this database uh, dot asterisk okay to what to which user test okay at the rate uh, localhost Okay, one row affected. If I will want to see the permission for test now, I don't want to log out, come back and show you, okay, we have the permission, we do. So if I will say show grants for now this user, we will be able to see all the permissions. So you can see that uh, grant select insert update delete on tech browsers dot asterisk. That means on everything to this user. So yeah, that, we, we, that confirms that we have a permissions uh, as a test user uh, on these uh, all the tables in tech browsers IT new database. Okay, so that's how you will provide the select insert update delete permission on a single table or multiple tables in the MySQL database. Um, thanks very much for watching this video and I, I hope this video will help. Subscribe if you like my effort. Bye.